Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on subglottic stenosis. For introduction, subglottic stenosis is the narrowing of the portion of the trachea immediately below the vocal cords. It may be congenital, but more often is acquired. Endotracheal intubation, especially prolonged or repeated intubation required in some premature infants, can lead to inflammation and scarring of the subglottic space. For clinical manifestations, subglottic stenosis can present as strider that is biphasic, on both inspiration and expiration, but usually more prominent on inspiration. With increasing respiratory effort, the strider becomes louder. Very small infants may not be able to breathe with enough force to generate a sound. Subglottic stenosis may also be associated with a barky cough similar to that noted with croup. Respiratory infections can cause subglottic edema, exacerbating the clinical manifestations of subglottic stenosis. For diagnostic studies, definitive diagnosis requires endoscopic evaluation, either by flexible or rigid bronchoscopy. For treatment, mild subglottic stenosis can be managed conservatively, and may improve sufficiently with airway growth alone. More severe cases require surgical intervention. Depending on the nature of the lesion, endoscopic laser treatment may be effective. Other surgical options include tracheoplasty and cricoid split procedures. A tracheostomy tube may be required to bypass the subglottic space until the airway is patented enough to allow adequate airflow. That's all for this video. Thank you.